What's up YouTube? You are now tuned into The Star Life. Today I have a brand spotlight for Mishka. Before I get into it, I do want to say if you guys please take a second to hit that like button below. It really does help me out. If you guys support what I'm doing and you want to see the channel grow, the best way to do that is by hitting that like button. When you guys hit that like button, you guys comment. That allows other people to see it and it spreads what I'm doing and spreads my videos to the rest of the YouTube community. So if you guys could please take a second to do that, I would really, really appreciate it. And as always, when you're done watching the video, you guys can leave your guys' uh, thoughts on the product itself or if you guys have any questions for me that I do not answer in this video, make sure you leave them in the comments as well. Also, if you're shopping on Carmeloop or Plunder.com and even MooseLimited.com, make sure you use my rep code NERD2020, that's N-E-R-D-2020. Those eight digits get you guys 10 to 20% off your entire purchase or your entire order, so make sure you go do that, save some money, and get some really dope gear. And now onto the product. So I got two things from Mishka, and one's actually a collab with another company, but this right here is the Mishka Protocol Hockey Jersey. Definitely a really sick piece. You have this anime character on the front, and it says Death Adders above that. On the sleeves, you have like this uh, Napster logo, which is like the alien instead, but it says Mishka, and it's got like that, you know, redesigned Napster logo. You have 56K for dial-up internet, and I do not know what ETD is. So that's something that if you guys do know what that is, make sure you leave that in the comments below but I'm not quite sure what that means or what that is. I tried looking it up, but I couldn't really find it. And that's actually on both sleeves as well. Then across the front, going all the way to the back, you have these like globes. You have a tag right here, but you have these globes going all the way around, even to the back, which I think is really, really sick. I love the design of this piece. And then over here, it says Plur, which I think is like peace, love, unity, and respect or something. Um, I've seen that a lot lately. And then uh, it says 56K once again for dial-up internet. And um, it's just like a really, really sick, like 90s inspired piece. I love this hockey jersey. It's really, really dope. I will say it fits kind of off. The fit itself is really good, but the sleeves are a little long on me. Maybe it's just because I have short arms. But one thing I was going to do is I'm going to actually cut this and um, sew it up higher. And once I do that, it'll be perfect. Because I want to be like almost like three quarter sleeve, kind of like a Raglan uh, style, like baseball tee almost, you know? Um, so I'm going to cut this and then sew across. And once I do that, I think this piece will be perfect. I love the design. I just think this is a really, really sick piece. When they dropped it, they had two hockey jerseys. One that I wanted a little bit more than this, but that sold out, so I couldn't get it. Um, so I just got the next best thing, which was this one right here. I will say Mishka's entire new line, like all their jerseys look really sick, and they had the really, really dope death hat, which is right over there. All right, I had to get a little closer so I can show you the actual details on the hat. So this hat is the Mishka Fresh I Am collab. Really, really sick hat. And if you know anything about Fresh I Am or FIA, you know that this looks and feels a lot like all their hats. You have the standard bent brim, you have the polycotton blend, which feels amazing, and then you have the stitched on letters across the front of the crown. I used to always be into flat brims, and I hated bent brims, but I actually bought this hat off this dude in the mall. Um, he works at The Cool, which is a streetwear store in the Northwest. If you guys do not know about it, you guys should definitely go check it out. I think it's in the uh, South Center Mall, or South Hill. I think it's South Center, but it's up in like Tequila, uh, Seattle area, and it's a really, really sick store. The people that work there are really cool, but I actually bought this hat off that dude's head. And um, I even thought this was too much. I, bought, I paid 60 bucks for it, which is a lot of money. I know $60 is a lot of money for a hat, but after I started wearing it, I realized this hat feels amazing and I can't go back. So then I bought this hat for 80 bucks, which is just way too much money for a hat in my opinion. But um, like I said, it's I do not regret buying it. This thing feels amazing. And they have the one with like the gold letters that's like $100, but personally I would just recommend getting the black and white one. I mean $20 to change the color of the letters to like a gold. I just and I, personally, I think the black and white looks better anyways, but yeah, this is by far my favorite look of all the uh, Fresh I Am hats. Really, really nice hat. You got the Mishka tag, Mishka X Fresh I Am tag on the inside, and then you have the two crosses on the back, which is pretty standard for all the Fresh I Am hats. And um, like I said, man, like I know that's a lot of money for a hat. I understand. Trust me. Before I got this thing, I would have never paid that much for a hat, but when you try this thing on and you realize how amazing they fit, I really do not think you will ever go back to normal snapbacks. Like literally, I'm about to have to sell most of my snapbacks or try to bend most of the brims. I mean, even if I bend most of the brims, they still do not feel as nice as these. They just do not feel the same. Like these stretch more, they just fit your head a lot nicer. So when you go and get one of these, or if you do, I, like I said, I know you'll be kind of skeptical at first spending that much money on a hat, but when you get it, I really do not think you'll regret it because like me, I am not going back to normal hats. Definitely an amazing hat and I love the way this hat fits. And that's basically it. So now we're gonna get into the lookbook portion of this video. Definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, keep living the star life.
telling your bitch I'm tipping out fofos in my Yeah, yeah, yeah Fall through your hood like I own it Backwards, back on deck, bitch, we zone it 30 ounces of skunk, yeah, we smoking All my bustle sandies, I'm rolling The return of the lights get piffin' And get your bitch blown on the zip Then I dip in that pussy, it's wet Yeah, that good shit, your truck So your bitch, when I let my hair grow Finna death beat, all up in that pussy With this medical look on, I'm real slow And tell your bitch, I'm tipping on fofos in my caddy Walking round like I'm the light-skinned trick daddy Huffin' and puffin' the blood, I'm rollin' the dub Fuck nigga, you talk this nigga like you know we can bump this no beast from the east I got your bitch fucking this up, get straight down to her knees Like please, she bout to a G at ease I step in these streets like nigga come test it One, two, and I do leave that nigga straight breathless And I'm back in the cut like it's time for some action Beat a nigga ass if you want a bomb beach pass Think fast, got the five cock in the back trunk Don't make me see black Let a fuck nigga test Best for lead that sample Be up to his neck My nigga, my nigga, I'm already dead My nigga, my nigga, we out for your head My nigga, my nigga, you fill up with lead Kill myself in that black Ferrari These horror thoughts in there Never gon' say They gon' always on me, see He don't know nan nigga Who can fuck with me And no nan nigga Who can flow like me And no nan nigga Who already deceased And no nan nigga Burn a blunt like a forest fire When he pull up to the scene Huffin' and puffin' That purpley green